Kyle, I got to ask you straight up, man. I know what I'm thinking. What do you got, or should I say, who do you got for game six and why? Here's the thing. I said that the Suns were going to win in six. That was my original prediction going into this series. And I could be prisoner of the moment and go with the momentum that Milwaukee has after winning three straight games. And they're one game away from winning the NBA Finals. But I guess it's just the pride in me. I got to pick Phoenix simply because I made that prediction about a week ago. If I'm going to die on this hill, so be it. But I'm going with Phoenix just because... I'm just hoping that Devin Booker can go out and replicate the last two games that he's been able to produce, dropping 40 points in game four and in game five. I'm just hoping he can do the same in game six. Chris Paul had a solid game five, had 21 points on 9 and 15 shooting. I hope that he can continue that success going into game six. But by and large, they need to step up the defensive pressure. They have to limit Giannis under 30 points to have any shot of winning this game. If Giannis goes out there and drops 30, 35, potentially 40 points, which he's more than capable of doing, it's going to put Phoenix in a real tough situation. But I think Phoenix is going to be able to rise to the occasion here. Their backs up are against the wall. And I think the way that this roster is constructed, I think that they can do it. They have to be essentially perfect to get this win in Milwaukee because I'm going to tell you this right now. Milwaukee, as far as their fans go, they are going to be bouncing in that arena when that when that game starts. So Phoenix is going to have to weather the storm, but I think the way that Monty has this team, I think that he's going to put them in the right mindset. They're going to be able to weather the storm, and I think they're going to be able to come out of this in a very close win. I'm thinking that Phoenix wins this game by like five points. And I think they're going to be able to force a game seven and get this series back to Phoenix. That's my personal opinion on this one. I'm going bold prediction, man. I got Milwaukee by 10. I think, I, I, I truthfully and honestly think Giannis smells blood in the water. Point blank period. The man has never looked more determined in any game I've ever seen him play more than last night. Obviously, Chris Middleton's been playing at, a, at a, an incredible clip. Drew Holiday finally had a great game, and I think that's going to be pivotal to him being confident going into game six. Defensively, Milwaukee's been able to get stops where needed, and obviously the acquisition of Drew Holiday looks to be a, a brilliant decision by the front office. Um, Giannis and those boys are just hungry, and I think that Phoenix has dug themselves into a hole it's a little too late to dig out of. The momentum of being at home, of winning three in a row, bringing a championship to Milwaukee for the first time um, in terms of basketball since 1971 with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Oscar Robinson. So I am just going to be completely difficult, or should I say different, and say that Milwaukee wins this game by 10-plus because I think that Milwaukee's going to get off to a good start. I think it's going to be close throughout the, the probably the first and second quarter, but I think that Milwaukee explodes and has an incredible second half that Phoenix is just going to be incapable of stopping. Like Kyle said, uh, the inability for Phoenix to go big or the lack of effort, should I say, to go big is going to dramatically affect them on the boards. I think that Giannis goes for maybe 35 and 15, 40 and 12, something of that magnitude. I think he's just going to want to attack the basket every single time. And I think he's going to try to get eight into foul trouble. And I really, really think that Drew Holiday is going to have a solid, solid game with, like I said earlier, 20 and 8, 20 and 10. Who knows? Maybe Chris Middleton goes for another 30. Uh, but the point of the matter is, I truthfully and honestly, Devin could go for 40, 45, maybe even 50. But if they can't stop Milwaukee on uh, on the other end, it makes no difference. Um, it was not a finals I would have expected to go the way that it's gone. Obviously, Kyle and I both expected Phoenix to kind of walk away with this after a certain point in time. I expected it to be sooner than later rather than, you know, Kyle's six, uh, six game prediction. But Milwaukee has proven me wrong. And they continue to prove me wrong because every time I share a shit pick Phoenix, <laughs> Milwaukee finds ways to win. So um, not that I'm picking Milwaukee because I want Phoenix to win because I would love for them to win an NBA championship for Chris Paul, for Devin Booker, and for my boy Cam Johnson. But I truthfully believe that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not going to let this championship walk away from him, especially not when he's in front of his home crowd. And he signed that contract, that extension to prove a point to stay with this team 
And if he can bring them a championship, I think that that decision is all worth the while right there. It's just the way that I see this game playing out is I think that Phoenix's role players are going to step up. I'm expecting Jay Crowder to have a solid game. He played phenomenal in Milwaukee in games three and four. So if he can light it up behind the three-point line, maybe get 15 points, I think that definitely is going to help out Phoenix tremendously. I need somebody like Mikhail Bridges or Cameron Johnson to really knock down their three-point shots. So both of those guys are more than capable of getting hot behind the three-point line. And I think the way that I see it is I think Mikhail Bridges is going to have a he's going to have a similar game to what he had in game 5. I think he's going to drop somewhere around 15 points. And I think Cameron Johnson I think is going to be in a similar boat as him. I think Cameron Johnson is going to drop drop maybe 10 to 15. And it's like I said, Phoenix is going to barely win this one. So, I expect Giannis to have a huge game for Milwaukee. They need to limit uh, Chris Middleton as far as Phoenix goes because Chris Middleton has been really hot these last two games. He's averaging like 34 and a half points in these last two games and they got to slow down Drew Holiday. It's a tough matchup for Phoenix, but I think Phoenix, it's like I said, they're going to weather that storm early and I think they're going to come out at the other side winning this game by like five points. If I had to put a score on it, it's going to be like 115 to 110. I think both teams are going to score though because the one thing that we've seen in this finals matchup is that offense is not an issue here. Both teams have been able to score. The shooting performances from both teams in game five was absolutely stellar. And I think that does continue going into game six, but I give a slight edge to Phoenix in this one simply because I said Phoenix in six. I got to roll with it. 